everyone, we're going to go ahead and take you on a behind the scenes tour of UF's Clinical Skills Lab. My name is Alyssa and I am a first year. My name is Cece, I'm a first year. My name is Francesco, I am a second year. I'm Victoria, I'm also a second year. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to give you a panoramic shot of the Clinical Skills Lab. So as you can see, it's very big, spacious, has nice windows and lighting. Um, and we're going to take you on a tour of different activities here at the lab. Okay, so our first activity is going to be with one of our donated horses. It is a large anatomically and physi uh, physiologically um, adapt horse that lets us simulate a real life situation. And what Victoria is doing here is she is applying some padding to a simulated horse um, leg wound. And we just were able to practice septically, being able to place Teflon pads and um, cast padding in order to know how to correctly bandage a horse's leg without it interfering with the wound or interfering with the leg and causing problems with that later. And then after that, our next activity is going to be over here and it is going to be um, also bandaging a dog wound leg. So in your first year, you get comfortable bandaging that large animal like Cece talked about, and we also do small animals our first year. But the second year, we kick it up a notch and we have the opportunity to work on casting. So it's really nice to be able to have one of these fake models as a second year student because clinics are just around the corner. Um, I came to vet school with not a lot of technical experience, so it's nice to work on a patient that isn't moving, is not going to bite me. And what's great about clinical skills is they work really hard to simulate real life. So when we're casting, we get the opportunity to work with a plastic splint or actually a cast pad like Fran is showing. And this is something we actually measured and formulated. So uh, if I had like a really small distal fracture, this would probably be an appropriate size. So it's great to get that hands-on experience. And then I also want to point out these giant screens we have here. What's awesome about this is during our lecture, if we're doing something like managing, the instructor actually gets to show what's going on. And anywhere you are in the room, you can actually see from these screens. And um, like I said before, it's awesome to get this clinical experience right before clinics. I know Fran and I are going to be experts at managing, and we can't wait to apply that in real life. All right, so we're going to go back to these horse models and get to check out some more skills that we get to learn as clinical skill students. So as uh, Victoria and Cece showed before, we practice bandaging on these models, but another cool thing that we can do is practice IM injections as well as blood draws, catheterization, things like that. So these models have areas where are bandaged off where they t show us where our IM injections would go in a horse sub -Q injections, and also have anatomical and physiological features in the neck where when we press out, our jugular vein will actually fill. So we can kind of get the hands-on practice, hands-eye coordination on how to do a blood draw as well as catheterization. Um, with the clinical skills lab and blood draws, we also practice blood smears, um, PCV, um, CBC, and we have our own microscopes that we use here to practice our skills in that not only with the horse model, but we also have small animal blood models that we practice blood draws and catheterizations on. Which this is our last activity for today. And like Alyssa was saying, she is going to be practicing a blood draw on our beautiful fake legs that we have. We have the not so furry ones and the more furry model with the beautiful catheter placement here. Um, they also have running blood through them. And what's great about this is that everybody comes with a different experience and different background. So when you get to Clean Skills, Joyce and Kate do a great job at making sure everybody is on the same gold standard um, that we use at UF and we use here at the hospital. And also uh, something that's really cool about this room is that they actually have behind me um, these client simulation rooms, which are super, super useful for clinics. Um, Victoria and I, as second years, when we come in here, we are like full doctor mode and ready to talk to the clients and ready to simulate a real client simulation. So yes, um, all this concludes our wonderful tour of our behind the scenes clinical skills lab. We hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Have a great day. Bye, Bye. thank you.